Hi everyone. So I wanted to give you guys a quick heads up that Civilization 7 UI mods are already coming and there's one already available that you can get right now and I will show you exactly what it does first and then I will show you where to download it and how to install it because we do not have the Steam Workshop yet which means you have to do it manually. So this is Socrate Act's simple UI adjustments mod which is a mod made by Socrate Act. If you don't know who that is, he's the real MVP of Civilization modding. And this mod does a few but very useful things. First of all, when you hover over any tile with buildings, it will now show you the icons for said buildings. It will also tell you whether they are ageless or not, or maybe they are pillaged, or maybe they are in progress. If you hover over a world wonder, you will get a full description of said wonder, and not just if it's yours, but also if it's built by the AI. Here's one example. Also, if you enable yields, the tiles that are not being worked will have smaller yield icons. And obviously the tiles that are being worked will have bigger yield icons, like some of these that you can see right here. Also, if you hover over an unimproved tile, it will tell you what the default improvement is. So, for example, here is farm, here is woodcutter, here is camp, you get the idea. And furthermore, if you click on an AI-owned city, as long as you made contact with that AI, you can initiate the diplomacy that way. Because normally you cannot, but you could do it this way in previous civilization games. So now we can do it this way in Civilization 7. So, as I mentioned, you don't have to install this mod manually because we do not currently have a Steam Workshop yet. So the way you do that, you have to go to Civ Fanatics. I will post a direct link to this mod in video description. So this is the page. You click download, download the file, and then there are a few things you need to do. First, you need to go to App Data folder. And the easiest way to get there is to open the Windows search and then search for percentage sign, updata, percentage sign. And that will show you the best match, which is the updata folder. Then you just click it and you will open the relevant folder. Now you have to go up one level because by default you will be in the roaming subfolder. So you just go up one level and then you go to updata, local, Firaxis Games, Sid Meier's Civilization 7, Mods. If there's no Mods folder in here, you need to simply make one yourself. So then all you need to do is to just extract this file and it will create this folder with some files and subfolders within it. Once that's done, you have to launch the game and then make sure the mod is actually enabled, which it should be by default, but if you wanted to make sure that it is definitely enabled, you need to go into additional content menu, then mods, and then the mod will be listed over here and it will say enabled. You can obviously disable it if you like, but that's basically it. That's all you need to do. Keep in mind that if there are any updates to this mod or any other mods, they will not update automatically inside the game. You will have to do it manually yourself, going through the same exact process I just described. And some of these improvements might eventually be implemented into the game officially by Firaxis in some updates. So then we might not need the mod anymore. But until then, it's a good stopgap measure. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful and informative. Leave a like if you did, and I will see you next time.